It's the home of the freest people and the land of no one's army. A well-established scenic mountainous region with breathtaking falls, numerous volcanoes, and hot springs. Otherwise known as the land of fire and ice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Iceland. Hey there! If you are new here, welcome to our channel. We focus on traveling around the most incredible beaches and top touring destinations around the world. If you have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button below to show your support for our channel. Iceland is known to be the country with the biggest glacier in the polar region. Aside from that, Iceland is also the place you should go to to experience the marvel of the infamous natural phenomenon called the Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights. From its wide selection of natural wonders, well-known landmarks, and the remarkable beauty of the buildings of Reykjavik, it has more to offer than you can imagine. Stay tuned if you are fascinated by volcanoes. Here are some of the superb places of interest you should visit to enjoy an extraordinary Icelandic adventure. Number one on our list is Reykjavik. Reykjavik is a place where colorful and vibrant homes can be seen from any angle. The home of stories and tales from the history of Viking settlers. You can also find the scenic design of colossal and vast architectural buildings. Next, we visit Pagramskikia. A unique architectural design for an evangelical Lutheran church makes Hagramskikia the best spot to visit. More than 230 feet or 70 meters tall, the evangelical Lutheran church is known to be the largest church in Iceland. While it took 41 years to build the colossal church, those years made the architecture a phenomenal masterpiece. From the inside lies the long and vast aisle, the row of colorful wooden pew chairs, and the large pipe organ that can be seen in the back. Sensational paintings can also be seen near the entrance. A visit to the church early in the morning will give you a wholesome feeling. Next, we have Harpa, a vast and colossal architectural building made with basalt rocks. Known for its unique facades, behold Harpa, Reykjavik's famous conference center and concert hall. Despite the elegant and astonishing architectural design by Henning Larsen Architects, it was built in only four years. A fantastic job by the company and construction workers, indeed. If you wish to pay a visit to the historical building of Harpa, you are in luck since Harpa hosts daily guided tours where as a guest you can roam around and see the concert hall for yourself. A much better experience than just watching a video. Our next destination takes us to Sun Voyager. The Sun Voyager is a visual masterpiece and fine art near the sea. It is made with strong stainless steel and sits on granite created by artist John Gunner Arneson. When creating the work of art, Arneson conveyed the commitment to unexplored territory where hope is made of dreams, advancement, and freedom. A powerful piece of art that pays tribute to its roots in the history of Vikings. This work of art has been made with passion and love. It started in 1990 and opened to the public within a year. If you are eager to visit the Sun Voyager, a cab ride is available to take you there. Next is Perlan, a well-known historical landmark and the capital of Iceland. Here you can find a museum and a rotating fine dining restaurant located at the top of the hill of Oskulid, which is one of a kind. Perlan is near the airport, so if you've just landed and want to experience it on the first day, take a cab and pay a visit. From its colossal and comprehensive architectural view from the outside to the modern day and timeless looking design of the interior, no wonder tourists visit this place so often. And if you're hungry and want to experience something unique, a rotating fine dining restaurant is on the top floor. The restaurant is an experience you won't want to miss. A three-hour visit to Perlan should be enough to experience everything it offers. History is where stories and tales start and end. To gain a better knowledge and understanding of the Nordic culture of Iceland, a trip to the National Museum of Iceland will highlight your visit. The museum is near the airport if you want to visit first after arriving. 
It was built and established during the 19th century and is home to about 2,000 items more than 100 years old. Don't you love how compact Iceland is? No matter where you go, areas of point of interest will always find you. Aside from the edifice and structures, behold the fabulous nightlife of Reykjavik. While the capital is the flagship of nightlife in Iceland, no one can deny the enjoyment of exquisite vibes of local to international bars and clubs and even tastefully crafted beers. Paying a visit to the capital's Lagavegur Street, the nightlife's crown jewel is a popular location for residents and visitors who wish to experience the spirit of Iceland's nighttime culture. Are you still there? Great! Thanks for watching this far. Now we shine the spotlight on the beaches of Iceland. Swimming on beaches is a pastime for the locals of Iceland. You can join them too if you're craving sand on your feet and water on your face. Visiting Iceland should be well planned before heading out. You should thoroughly research the locations, beaches, and other water activities you plan to do during your stay. Be mindful of the climate and weather. If water sports activities are your primary purpose, you should avoid visiting the country from November to April and peak seasons from January to February. Summertime in Iceland starts during the third week of June until the third week of September. You should also note the wet and rainy season in September. Here are Iceland's top beach destinations. If you've been watching our videos for some time, most of the featured beaches are white sand beaches. But despite the less frequent black sand beaches, ladies and gentlemen, I present the Black Sand Beach of the South. The best black sand beach can be found in the southernmost part of Iceland called Reynasfjera, a two to three hour drive from the capital. To answer your question about why the sand is so black, it's because of volcanic activity in Iceland. It will capture your attention because it looks like you're not on the beach here on Earth, but another planet. Even with summer weather, the temperature of the water might be too cold for you to swim. That's why it's ideal to bring warm clothes, emergency items like food, a power bank, flashlight, and blankets. Our next beach is Diamond Beach. You can find diamonds on Iceland's beaches more easily than anywhere else. One catch though, these diamonds you can't keep forever. <laughs> why not? because these diamonds are made of water. Yukosarlón, where Diamond Beach can be found, is tucked away in the southeast of Iceland. You can travel there by car. It is approximately 235 miles or 380 kilometers from Reykjavik and can be covered within a five to six hours drive. Diamond Beach is well known for its colossal ice chunks floating on the beach, a unique beach that you can only find in the polar regions. This beach is located near the glacier lagoon of Yokosarlón. The enormous chunks of ice wash up on the beach. When visiting the beach in Yokosarlón, explore every bit. You might find rare seals chilling on the beach. Our next destination is Solhimasandur Beach. It's located in the south of Iceland and it's about two and a half hours drive from Reykjavik. Quick trivia. Solima Sandur is well known for its plane wreck, a 1973 U.S. Navy DC plane. It's said that the plane ran out of fuel and the pilot had no other option but to crash on the black beach. Luckily, everyone on board survived the crash. However, after a thorough investigation, the pilot had mistakenly switched to the wrong fuel tank which caused the crash. Despite the large debris on the beach, you can safely inspect the plane's wreckage. However, you must walk 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers from the road to the crash site because the landowners are unhappy with the reckless tourists driving and tearing up the land near the wreckage. That's why vehicles are not allowed to enter the beach. Besides the plane wreckage, Solima Sandur Beach is one of the black sand beaches worth visiting. Plan on bringing emergency supplies like food, water, flashlights, and a first aid kit before visiting the site and always know your limits when swimming on the beach to be safe. The next beach on our list is Dirole Beach. This beach is known for its picturesque views of its cape, big rocks, and black sand. 
to experience the best view of black sand beaches and seabirds, you must visit viewpoints requiring an hour's hike. A trip from Reykjavik to Dirole takes two to three hours. Bringing essential items and an emergency kit should always be on your mind. The weather is uncertain, so carrying a heavy jacket to keep warm would be wise. When planning a visit to Dirole Beach, you should know what time to go before sunrise or sunset. Your timing is crucial to catch a glimpse of the rising and setting of the sun over the horizon. Our next destination is Golfas, one of the most famous waterfalls near the Kavitao River. It is located southwest of Iceland and is regarded as the largest waterfall in Europe. In perspective, it produces almost 50,000 cubic feet of water released every second during the peak summer season compared to 2,500 cubic feet released every second during the winter season. The rainbows created by the Gulf Foss Falls greatly enhance its beauty. Paying a visit to the Gulf Foss Falls is worth it. The best time to visit is from 3 to 5 p.m. An adventure on sunny days is highly recommended. To experience a spectacular view of the biggest waterfalls in the polar region of Europe is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's not all about how many places you can go, but how many places you have enjoyed. When it comes to enjoying a good time, no one can deny the pleasure and comfort of indulging yourself in steamy hot springs. There are a handful of hot springs scattered in the area. The Sky Lagoon is located in Reykjavik and is near the airport. If you want a quick hot spring visit to enjoy, this should put a smile on your face. One of the best known hot springs is the Blue Lagoon, a perfect spot to visit and enjoy. The steamy turquoise hot water tells you about how luxurious it is. Bring your family and friends here and you will leave with unforgettable memories of Iceland. Don't forget to sightsee while indulging in the hot springs. Up next on our list is the Helkla Volcano. Volcanoes are a wonder of nature with significant elements of danger. But is seeing them worth the hike up a trail? The only way to know is to experience it. Hecla, a stratovolcano that is so active, has erupted more than 20 times since the 9th century and the last eruption happened in February of 2000. The volcano was also named Gateway to Hell by the Old Norse during the Middle Ages. If you are eager to hike to the volcano's base and up to the top, you should consider checking in at the Hotel Ranga. You won't regret the experience. It's a luxurious hotel at the volcano's base. The Aurora Borealis is also visible during the nighttime from the hotel. Reykjavik is a preserved beauty of nature. Locals fully embrace their culture and history. As visitors, we must always be mindful of our actions and practice cautious tourism. If you have trash, please bring it with you until you see a trash bin. The ideal stay in Reykjavik is one to two weeks, depending on your itinerary. The summer time in Iceland is far more different than the summers in other countries, so be prepared for a sunny day with cold winds. Accommodations and restaurants are scattered throughout Reykjavik and most are nearby. There is a wide variety of what the city has to offer, but when staying in a hotel, always get the hotel with a view of the northern lights. If you loved every second of this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button below and click the notification bell to be notified when a new video has been uploaded. Please comment below if you have visited Iceland and tell us about your favorite experience. For more traveling tips, please visit our website, yourposeidonadventure.com. Thank you guys and I will see you on the next one.